Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to create this type of develop content slide in PowerPoint. So let's get started. So this is our basic design template, which is basically only the content. So now we have to create a great looking presentation slide for the table of content design. So let's go to insert shapes and pick a rectangular shape. And let's create some sections for each sections or chapter and create one more square which is basically going to be for only the numbers so let's create it here and then let's see it should be on here or there okay it looks good in here basically so for now we are gonna move this here and make it a group and then change the colors from this light fill color and make the other part a little bit lighter color okay and then group them Also, let's duplicate them into seven slides. Each of them should be one after one. And let's duplicate all of them. And one more slide left. And then select all of them and arrange to vertically aligned. Okay, let's keep it here. So select every two part and make them a little bit displaced so that we can make a new style of layout. I don't know if this is going to be good, but let's try watching this if this sample looks good. We can make it a little bit distanced. And now it looks kinda good and let's try to make it colorful let's change the colors of each slide let's make the process a little bit faster and now Let's move all of the text from here to the sections of each chapter. This will be quite taking time, so I'm gonna move this a little bit faster, fast forward. Polishing the other text of numbers, or slight numbers, sections numbers into a little bit arranged way. So it's gonna be a little bit fast forward. Okay, the text sections looks fine and now the numbers we have to decrease the left margin and now it looks fine and now let's make a shape or, or a sector for, for the table of content to design where we will include our sections into an array so that we can move them a little bit more creative so this is how I'm going to do. So 
in this section, I'm going to add one more layout, which is going to be some kind of an extra. So I'm going to select them and add them and merge the shapes so that I can lift over the shape I want to. And okay, fine. And let's make it a little bit smaller and then a little bit away from the section. Okay, it looks fine. And now I have to add a few numbers, seven sections or seven steps, so that we can we can create seven pointer of the sections. And now make them duplicate into seven parts and change the colors. Once we have created our sections and let's make them grouped into one more time and arrange them into a serial linear format which is basically what I like now. So I have to select all of the seven steps or sections and arrange them into an alignment left. Okay, make them a little bit distanced. And then pointer seven cursor from this lateral arrows. Select the arrow and start doing the repeated sections from one arrow to another section. 
He said that means we can connect or show that these bullets are connected to each other. Okay, let's make them a less colored and let it change them. Now all of the sessions look really cool and looks clean. Let's make them aligned into the center of the slide and middle of the side. Okay, this looks really good. And hopefully you like this design also. So I'm gonna duplicate it and make it a darker version of the same design so that you can use it for your dark design or also the light design method. So I'm gonna ungroup these sections till the content it needs to be a little bit of darker. So I'll ungroup it and ungroup the other parts too and change the colors from the gradient menu and let's make them a little bit of darker. Okay. Okay, they're looking good. All I have to do is that just change the light colors to the darker ones. And make the text white. And the other, yes, way around to select it and make it transparent also. This can be worked. Okay, this looks really nice. So we have our two versions, right, and dark two modes. So hopefully this video helped you a lot. So if you like this video, please hit subscribe and let's continue to learn a few more videos. Thank you everyone.